AMD is about to release an even more disruptive GPU. But before I get to that, this is getting completely out of hand, and AMD now owns this market. Welcome everyone to Gamer Mel. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, GPU prices are getting even worse. So much so that NVIDIA's 8GB RTX 4060 that launched two years ago for $300 is currently selling for $450 to $500. Bucks. <laughs> and it's become a top selling GPU on Newegg at that price. You can see here that, well, they're actually calling this a sale for $460, and yet it's still the top selling GPU. This is something I actually predicted not too long ago. And of course, if you want to stay up to date on GPU stock news, there's no better place than GamerMelt. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, one of the reasons why I predicted that GPU prices wouldn't go down anytime soon was the fact that NVIDIA makes way more on AI chips versus gaming. So they're almost certainly prioritizing silicon for AI. And given there's still more demand for AI accelerators than NVIDIA themselves can make, you know they're taking a lot from gaming. Well, one of the other reasons I gave was because companies were flat buying RTX 50 GPUs for AI when they can't get the chips made specifically for it. And that also looks to be the case because as you can see right down here, it says a Vietnam shop, this name recently shared a few photos of an AI rig they set up for a customer. So this isn't just for them, they are selling these rigs. And it features seven RTX 5090s hooked up to multiple kilowatt PSUs and an open air GPU frame. It says, despite the average 5090 costing nearly four grand, professionals find their performance worth the investment, even though Nvidia is not positioning these cards as workstation solutions. Basically, I really wouldn't hold my breath about getting a new GPU at an even remotely reasonable price anytime soon. And next up for today, Intel is in some serious trouble. But first, we're getting very close to Micro Center's new store opening in Santa Clara, California. So if you want that free 128 gig flash drive, visit the link in the description below to get the coupon and pick it up at the store when it opens. If you still aren't familiar with Micro Center, you're seriously missing out. Luckily, they sponsored this video so I can tell you all about it. For one, they're essentially a PC gamer's heaven because they have all the PC parts you could want for a build all in a retail store meaning you can go there in person to actually see what you're buying. And believe it or not, they have some of the best prices anywhere. I bought parts from my first ever build there for a reason. And speaking of pricing, April is their Apple sales event. So yes, they also have Apple. And here you can get great deals on Macs, tablets, MacBooks, everything Apple. So check those out before they're gone and get your free 128 gig flash drive. Both of those links are in the description below. Now, back to the story. As many of you know, AMD's Ryzen 9800X3D has been the gaming chip to get. Like the 7800X3D before it, it has some of the best gaming performance out there at a fraction of the price. And because of that, the CPU is completely dominating on Amazon. So much so that according to this sales report from March from Amazon US, the company has sold twice as many 9800 X3Ds than the next most popular chip. And by the way, that next most popular chip is the Ryzen 5 5500. And you can see the next one is a 7800 X3D. Oh, we now have a popular chip from Intel, but it's their 12th gen CPU. Then we have Ryzen, 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 Ryzen. Oh, okay, we got another. Ooh, that's still 12th gen. Then, ooh, 14th gen. Ryzen, Ryzen, okay, 12th gen, Ryzen, Ryzen, 12th gen, 12th gen, Ryzen. We just now got to one of Intel's newest Core Ultra chips, and it's the Core Ultra 7 265K, and that one just sold... 500 plus, meaning 
Intel is really having a bad go at this. And if we go further down the list, you'll pretty quickly notice that there are no other CPUs from Intel's Core Ultra 200 series that make this list. So yeah, if any other retailers or any other regions mirror what we're seeing right here, Intel's stock price, even as low as it's gotten, might not be the bottom. Things are seriously looking terrible for the company. And lastly for today, while it's still absurdly hard to find a GPU at a reasonable price, AMD might be about to change that very soon, or at least give us some more options with hopefully more stock. This story originally comes from IT Home, where you can see that they're quoting their own sources here, and according to them, AMD is set to release an RX 9070 GRE. If you remember, the first GRE GPU, the 7900 GRE, was a really great card in terms of price to performance. And given the 9070 series is already a great price to performance GPU, the 9070 GRE could be even better. Now, since this story initially broke, we have a little bit more information about specs. Specifically, that the GPU apparently comes with 12 gigabytes of memory. And that's certainly not a positive, but at least it's not eight gigabytes. And it could be enough to really bring the price down a decent bit further. Not only that, but as you can see right here, of course, because it is 12 gigabytes, it comes with a 192 bit bus and that memory speed is at the same 20 gigabits per second as the 9,000, the other 9,000 series GPUs. But because it only comes with 12 gigabytes, it has a memory bandwidth of 480 gigabytes per second. Still not that bad, but unfortunately there is some potential bad news. As you can see right here, it says it's ready to enter mass production. That's great of course, but it also says we'll soon see the relevant graphics card launched in the Chinese market. That of course doesn't sound like good news that it could just be a Chinese only GPU, but this is coming from Benchlife, which is a Taiwanese company. So it does sort of make sense why they would be discussing the Chinese market. So maybe just maybe it will also come to the US and other areas as well. And actually don't forget that the original 7900 GRE originally launched in the Chinese market only, yet later came to the US and other countries as well. I guess fingers crossed it does come to other countries. So while that does it for today, do you think AMD can bring the price down with the 7900 GRE or is it hopeless at this point? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to save money on Micro Center down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.